Hey, Shiv. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do the second half of July readings for Taurus. I know you guys are probably like, where have you been? Listen, okay? No, but like, just, you know, taking care of stuff. School started back for me. Um, you know, a little overwhelmed. Had to take a moment for self. You know, and that's what you got to do sometimes. Oh, look, Taurus. Look what's on the bottom of the deck when I shuffle for you. Okay. I had to do a pre-shuffle, you know, meditate and all that stuff. But you got true love coming here. We're going to see what messages um, come out for you for the second half of July. I'm going to clarify. And then, yeah, you're going you know, to be on your way. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, if this reading resonates, then great. If it does not, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. So this is for Taurus. Second half of July, Spirit. What do they need to know? For Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus spirit? This is my quantum oracle deck. I love using this deck. I use it like every morning. This and a couple others, but for Taurus. For Taurus. Okay. Dang, told you. You got the loving man. Okay. And then I pull from the bottom of the deck, and it says dark thoughts in reverse, okay? Let's get one more for Taurus, second half of July. For Taurus, second half of July, Spirit. So with the loving man coming out, it's kind of saying that you know, you have a loving man that may be coming into your life or you may be the loving man. And with Doc Doss being in reverse, like, this could have been someone that was just like, um, you know, thinking negatively, you know, just in a funk. But they're coming out of that, okay? So with stuck energy here, upright. And joy is fun, upright, okay? This is more clarification on someone who was like feeling stuck can't move don't know what to do coming out of that energy okay that down energy and then you have deserving in reverse as the overall energy for taurus okay so we're going to clarify these messages and see what they mean but i'm also going to read some of them okay but i mean i've i've read through this deck so many times <laughs> i could probably like quote it but you know i don't want to just make up my own stuff but I already know what half of these cards mean. Okay, so this is for Taurus, second half of July 2021. Now, for, what is that? Deserving. Deserving in reverse says this. That's not that. Uh. Here it is. So, deserving is about your true worthiness. In reverse, it says this. This card reverse brings a very important message to you. Your sense of deserving is seriously out of alignment with your truth. The things that you long for are falling away because you're filled with doubt and feelings of unworthiness. Such thoughts of self-limitation block the opportunities and outcomes you long for. So you absolutely must get out of your own way. Okay? That's what that is saying to you. Yeah. Absolutely. It's more to it. But that's just generally what it is. Right? Like you are kind of like or you or someone else. Right? But I feel like it's you. You know, you are in a, in a, in a state where you're like thinking negatively. Okay? You may have dark thoughts or may have had dark thoughts. Okay? So let's see. Why is deserving here in reverse for Taurus? It's such a thick deck. And I have little hands. Okay, so. All right. Why is deserving here in reverse for Taurus in the second half of July? Why is deserving here in reverse? There it is. <laughs> okay, look, yeah. Anxiety. And that's like unrealistic anxiety. Okay, this is this is worry and stress around something, some thoughts that you may be feeling that really aren't true. And it's probably in reference to love, maybe feeling like you don't deserve love, 
or the love that you put out, you don't get back, okay? That you don't deserve to be treated well or that you will never get true love, okay? Because we did see the true love card on the bottom of the deck when I shuffled, okay? Yeah, and with the sun card being on the bottom of the deck and justice, okay? This is like you feeling like you're never going to get your happiness, okay? Like, like, you know, you'll always be in some type of despair. But we see that that's not true. That's just, you know, you got some good things coming through, okay? Deserving in reverse for Taurus, second half of July. Deserving in reverse for Taurus, second half of July, I see it. Yeah, nine of cups, okay? Like, you may have something that you want to move towards, something that you really, truly desire, something that you feel like is a wish fulfilled, but you're doubting yourself. You're um, with the six of swords on the bottom. You want to move towards that. You want to go from this state of anxiety and discomfort and lack of joy and all of that to your wishes being fulfilled, but you're doubting that opportunity. Okay, you are deserving. Okay, so if you're feeling like you're not, you are. All right, and the spirit loves you more than you know. Okay, so just know that. Okay, so the loving man says that it's a person. All right, it says people on the top, so it's a person. You could be that loving man, or you can have a loving man coming towards you. All right, and it says thus it's a tender hearted masculine energy. A man holding a bouquet of flowers walks towards you on a path. The energy that comes from him is compassionate and down to earth. This card could portend the beginning of a new romantic relationship or it could indicate the deepening of a present love. Open your heart and know that you deserve the depth of love that stirs your soul and fills your life with companionship and purpose. Okay? If you're feeling like you don't deserve that, you do. Okay? So, Taurus, let's see why this card is here for you, <laughs> okay? The loving man, why is this card here for Taurus for the second half of July spirit? Mm -hmm. Hermit, okay, yeah, hermit, okay? This is about soul searching, this is about going quiet. This is someone that has been quiet, okay? This is someone that, you know, may have withdrawn or may tend to do that, okay? On the bottom, we have the Knight of Swords. So they coming in with communication, okay? Somebody is definitely um, ready to open up, ready to um, speak a truth, okay? Yeah, four swords right there, yeah. And this is someone that has healed or wants to heal from some type of past regrets or old wounds, okay? They want to heal or they have healed, okay? They might have gone into hermit mode to do that, okay? The loving man. Why is this here for Taurus in the second half of July? The loving man. Okay. At the Six of Cups. All right. It's definitely probably someone from your past. Okay. It could be someone that um, is reminiscing about, you know, stuff or looking at things that could have occurred in the past, all right? This could be a soulmate that's coming in for you, all right? Yeah, with the eight of swords on the bottom, I feel like this is someone that was definitely up in their head, thinking negatively, okay? Feeling stuck, okay? Needing to remove themselves from um, toxic energy, remove themselves from unhappy thoughts, remove themselves from... Um, like a sorrow in order to gain their like their confidence again okay this is someone that definitely went into hermit the loving man for tours okay. <laughs> yeah same talk all right the knight of wands all right and the ten of wands all right 
So whoever this person is, whoever is represented as the loving man, this person has always wanted to take action or has wanted to take action um, or move something forward at some point, okay? But with the Ten of Wands there, they had a lot of responsibilities or a lot of things weighing on them and it made it hard for them to enjoy life, okay? It made it hard for them to like um, spend time with you or you to spend time with someone to just have a good time, okay? Whoever this loving man is, um, they, they had to retreat, okay? They had to retreat because they had a lot weighing on them, okay? So with the Three of Cups here, this person is now wanting to move forward to something more pleasant, more positive, more joyous, because we have joyous fun here, all right? So let's see why our dark thoughts are here, okay? Because whoever this loving man is, I believe they have some dark thoughts at some point, all right? But these dark thoughts are in reverse, okay? So it says shadows of the mind. In reverse, it says this. Here comes the sun. See? When this card is reversed in your spread, it reveals a time of increasing light and clarity for you. You may have been through some dark times lately, lost in the labyrinth of problems, but all that is coming to an end. Things will be going more smoothly from now on. In fact, your movement into lighter, happier times may have already started. Your life force energy is lifting, bringing more joyous experiences and increasingly positive results. Make sure you support these wonderful outcomes by maintaining your bright new pathways of trust and positive thinking. Okay, listen and look. As soon as I spit the deck, we got 10 of cups and three of cups, okay? This is someone coming towards you like ready to be happy, okay? Why is dark thoughts here for Taurus or vice versa? <laughs> just do it automatically because I'm just going, you know. Okay. <laughs> Why is dark thoughts here? Remember, this can be flipped or reverse, y'all. Dark thoughts in reverse. Why is this here? Dark thoughts in reverse. For Taurus in the second half of July. Dark thoughts in reverse. The Taurus. Okay, all right. Got the King of Wands. All right. Fire energy. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. And the Two of Cups. Mm hmm. So this is someone realizing that they want to, they want to, they want a partner. Okay. <laughs> this is someone that's like, okay, well, I'm starting to feel better now. You know, the burdens are lifting. I think I want a partner. Okay. Right. Because with the five of pinnacles on the bottom, they might be a little lonely. Okay. <laughs> they could be going through some financial hardship. That could have been some of the burdens or whatever. But now they're ready to, like, you know, build something with somebody. Go towards their heart's desire with the star energy. They are healing. Okay? Yeah. Whoever this person is, they were dealing with a lot, but they're coming out of it now. And they're like, well, you know what? I think I want a boo. <laughs> I think I want a partner. It doesn't have to be love. Okay? But, you know, it looks like it. Okay? So, step energy. All right? That's over here, too. Someone could have had some stuck energy. And it says this. An old-fashioned truck is stuck deeply in mud, clearly not going anywhere. A frustrated man sits on top, trying to discern how he's going to get out of it. Similarly, you are looking at a situation in your life where you feel overwhelmingly stuck. And you simply don't know how to change things. Perhaps you're in a job that's dissatisfying, yet you feel like you can't leave because of the money. Maybe you're in a relationship that's stifling or even in some way dishonoring to you, yet you feel you must stay, perhaps for the kids or because you believe you can't make it on your own. Whatever it is, you find yourself so deeply entrenched that you can't seem to move, okay? So that's that stuck energy. There's more to it, but you know. What it's saying is you're not stuck, okay? 
With that rainbow in the back, I can tell you what the rest of it says. With that rainbow in the back of the picture, okay? This is saying that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You can come out of this stuck energy. Why is stuck energy here for Taurus for the second half of July? Stuck energy. Yeah, five of Pentacles. Right. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, someone could have, um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles right behind that. Someone could have um, had like a breakup in a relationship, okay, or um, went through something where they were completely fulfilled, okay, Ten of Cups, but then all of a sudden, you know, had some type of loss. And it made them, you know, have to be like more independent, more focused on self, more, um, you know, solid, you know, in solitude by themselves. Okay, have the emperor. Okay, Aries energy. Yeah, but the everything is fine card. This is um special in this deck. It's a ten of swords, but it's like it says everything is fine at the bottom. So it's two of them that look like this, and the sun right behind that. This is the one that is starting to realize that although things did get bad, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, like no, everything's okay. Like I can come out of this stuck energy. It doesn't have. I don't have to stay there. Okay. Yeah, because someone just felt like they weren't deserving of love. They weren't deserving of their happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with the Seven of Pentacles, is someone doing like a deep evaluation. Like, a, you know, what they wanted to do or how they want to go about things. Okay? Because you got the Knight of Cups here. And this is about giving a love gesture. Taking the necessary steps. Okay? Um, going out on a date, um, reaching out to a client. Like, this is someone actually coming out of that Five of Pentacles energy. Raising their vibration, okay? To have a new beginning. And we have this Four of Wands here. This is about creating stability again. Going into a relationship again, okay? So someone that could have come out of a relationship, you know, was, you know, really, um, heavy on them, the Five of Pentacles energy, okay? Feeling like they've been betrayed with the Ten of Swords, carrying around burdens with the Ten of Wands. They're coming out of that energy, all right? And they're starting to see that they can rebuild again, okay? Because I think someone's just ready to have fun again, all right? So we have joyous fun here. And that says, an excited family gets ready to enter a light-filled amusement park signaling the increase of joyous energy in your life it could be as simple as a happy vacation coming up or it could hurl a new relationship bringing more fun and excitement perhaps a light-hearted friendship will usher in some more social activity you may be engaging in interesting pursuits that bring a sense of happiness into your daily life when you choose to have some fun your bliss will expand okay so this is definitely saying that, yes, yeah, someone is coming out of their funk, okay? And they're ready to enjoy life, all right? Why is joyous fun here? Why is joyous fun here for Taurus in the second half of July? Okay, we have the death card, all right? An ending, all right, with the three of pentacles. This is an ending of, like, a collaboration okay so someone could have been in a union with someone and they were building on something and then all of a sudden it came to an end could have happened all of a sudden it could have been like slowly ending okay but an ending occurred in something that was building okay and with the four swords behind that someone has had to heal from that okay someone had to recover why is joyous fun here for taurus tower tower okay with the two of pinnacles this made someone very um i want to say afraid of change okay with the two of pinnacles it's like wow things have to change from this three of pinnacles that i was used to it's like wow i'm going backwards i'm going now i have to figure things out i don't know what to do all right the ten of ten of wands appeared it's someone that had a lot of burden so it's like okay how do i do this on my own okay joy is fun for Taurus, second half of July. Mm. 
yeah, this ending I feel like was unexpected with the tower. It wasn't it wasn't um something that someone prepared for. Okay? Joy is fun. Scorpio energy twice here. Yeah. Eight of Swords and a Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords and Six of Pentacles. Okay? And so, yeah. With the Page of Wands on the bottom and the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? <laughs> yeah, that of Wands, okay. This is someone that is definitely interested in rebuilding again, okay? They're ready to have joyous fun, okay? They're coming out of that stuck energy. This ending that they had rocked them, all right? So it had them up in their head. Eight of Swords, okay? It had them up in their head, and it had them feeling like they can't ever get anything that is balanced, okay? That is fair, that is just, that is going to match them, okay? Um, but also even feeling like they can't match someone else, you know? So even like feeling less than on themselves. This is someone that's now coming in, look, at, as pages, Okay? They come in with maybe some flirty energy. Maybe want to, you know, ask you out. You know, you want to go get some coffee. You want to go hang out this weekend or whatever like that, right? You know, they're coming out of that eight of souls energy. But they, they really want this, okay, ten of pentacles. But, you know, they're going to start here, okay? <laughs> so, let's see. This is my um, Straight Facts Oracle deck, right? If you want it, the link is in the description. And let's see if we get some messages for you for Taurus, second half of July. They really want the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Because they ready, okay? <laughs> they ready for a, a partner again. But they're going to start off slow for Taurus, second half of July. They're going to start off small, actually. Taurus, second half of July. Mm -hmm. all right you got spirit has your back it says this too shall pass the trials you are going through will soon be over spirit is with you all the way you are not alone okay and this is for whoever is feeling this way all right and because on the bottom of the deck it says bruh unexpected heartbreak then we say it just happened unexpectedly okay it's bottom of the deck I mean bottom of the card says wow i was not expecting that okay so like yeah like Whoever has gone through some type of like heartbreak or turmoil that was very unexpected. Spirit is saying like, listen, we got your back. All right. It's okay to step out there again, you know. Go after what you feel like, you know, was a wish fulfilled. Okay. For Taurus, one more, please. All right, and says, I got mine. It's taking care of yourself first is not a bad thing. Okay, so this is someone that had to retreat. This is someone that had to get themselves together. That's like my four pinnacles energy. And then it says, you think of what I'm thinking? Let's talk. I think we need to have a conversation. Somebody wants to talk to you. Okay? Somebody's coming back around. Somebody that, you know, went into hermit. They want to talk. Okay, they want to have a conversation. Bottom of the deck, it says, I need a break. Give me six feet. I need time to heal myself. This is someone that pulled away to get some time to themselves, to heal themselves, and now they want to come back and have a conversation. That's okay. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Shib. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I wish you guys already. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh, forgot about this time. <laughs>